Okay, so if you watch my previous video, you will know that I devirtualize stuff in order to uh, balance the universe, literally. And uh, yeah, that's my unit uh, which I built in order to devirtualize the, our virtual phones that we have. And uh, you know, one of the things that happened, uh, everybody was uh, so excited about that, they really liked it and one of my colleagues, uh, really, uh, he really made me build another one for him and see what he brought. Uh, hmm, way more nice looking than mine and uh, believe it or not, that's real copper, that's brass and it is really heavy metal, uh, really heavy and uh, yeah, it gave me a fair bit of trouble because, as you might guess from the looks, it is really, really, really old and inside it was all rusted. Uh, somebody tried to repair it at some point of the time, it, everything was twisted, mangled around, but it gave me a fair bit of trouble, but at the end I made it work as a normal phone. Uh, and uh, uh, only after that I managed to stick the magic electronics so that uh, it will become alive <laughs> or have a second life. And uh, yeah, let's, let's see how it works. Again, imagine that's Microsoft Windows and what you will see would be a link. And I pick up the phone, link starts and what do I do? Of course, I dial down the number. Again, you saw in my previous video, uh, after some time, as the old phones function, it dials after you it dials the number after you stop dialing and things like that. But uh, one other thing that I want to show you, uh, which which turned out really nice. Uh, now again, that earpiece is fully functional. Uh, let me show it to you. Uh -huh. Yeah, my mic is really crappy, but yeah, so uh, what's, what's, what's the cool stuff? Uh, okay, stop. I managed to, let me show you, use the original speakers and the original microphone. Which means, when you listen to the earpiece, it really sounds like an old phone. And the other cool stuff is, once you start speaking on the mic, it really sounds like you are calling from the past, actually. And uh, you know, these speakers, they are very narrow bandwidth and because of the shell, they really compress your voice and uh, have this old sound. Let me show you. Uh, I don't know whether you will hear it, but, uh, but yeah, let, let's give it a try. See how how does it sound when you speak uh, from here? Hello, hello. Can you hear me? I'm calling from the past. <laughs> oh, so cool. And uh, yeah, of course, everything works as before. Once you hang, it sends a shortcut that would uh, close the call, and uh, yeah, things like that. Uh, what remains or? What, we, what could be improved, but I would probably not do it because it's way too much work, is to actually make the phone ring when Microsoft Link rings, but that would require a software on the a computer and then the USB should become a generic hit so that you can pump in data from the PC to the phone and things like that, two-side communication, things like that, and it would make it quite complex and I don't know whether I will do it. And uh, the other thing, uh, I may stuff inside a USB hub so that you don't have to connect two cables here. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. If you are interested in the technical details, uh, you may check my blog. There is lots of info there. And uh, yeah, with two words, that's a USB keyboard and that's a USB sound card. And the details how to stitch them together are on my blog. So that's it. Have a nice day.